YouTube reseller mom here welcome to today's video today is going to be kind of a haul video I'm going to take you along shopping with me and just kind of what one of my days looks like when I'm out and about I kind of split up my days to either have chunks of time where I'm going out shopping or I'm staying at home listing and usually I like to make them the whole day but probably in the fall when I'm doing homeschool with my daughter in the morning it will switch to about half a day chunks of time but when you're going out and about you want to group up all your errands as much as you can to make it worth your while uh, driving around here. So today is Tuesday. What is today? The 14th, I think. And I've got a bunch of running around. So I did a whole bunch of shopping last week. I have some returns. I've got boxes that need to be shipped out behind me at the UPS store. I've got eBay orders to pick up. So let's see, I'm going to Bartels, UPS store, Rite Aid, Fred Meyer for a personal reason, my storage unit, and then I'm very excited I'm going to Kohl's. That's probably where I will come back, unless if something interesting happens between all those stores, but it should be just returns and nothing too exciting. But I'm excited to go to Kohl's. A couple of things. One, I found out there's a 30% off that you can use, and there's actually like a website that breaks down all the Kohl's um, discounts, and then you can go log in on the computer and go to like the wallet section and add offers and just type in those offers. So this one was like mother's 30 and I can get 30% off. Then I found out that hopefully they will take my expired Kohl's cash. I'm eager to see if that will work because I've got $60 that I let expire. Uh, and that's my bad. I'm really upset about it, but I'm trying not to beat myself up over it. And then I have like $40 other cash. So I'm really excited. I haven't been to Kohl's in probably a month for this one. And Kohl's is a newer store for me. So I'm still learning, learning the ropes of Kohl's. Every store has their own rules, regulations, discounts, promos, etc. I also downloaded, what was it, Ebates and some of those other apps where I can buy the gift cards on discount. So I might be doing that. I gotta see how much I find at Kohl's and if I find a good lot, then I'm gonna go ahead and use that. And there was a $10 off that. So I'm trying to stack all of those savings up. If you can, you know, get a 30% off stacked with another, you know, 10% off on gift cards or maybe two and, well, two to 5% off gift cards and then another discount, another discount, you know, they start to add up really good. So anyhow, it is Tuesday, it is rainy here, and uh, other than that, I've been just working out in the garden. We had an awesome Mother's Day weekend, and I hope you guys did too. So let's get started. I'm here at Bartels, what is it, it's 8.38 in the morning on Tuesday. I've got till, gosh, I don't have to pick up my daughter until 4.45, so I've got a long day that I can be out and about shopping. And I'm excited, down by the Kohl's, there's also a Ross, a Tuesday morning, a Target, there's a whole bunch of stores down where I'm going, so if I, finish up with with Kohl's, there's other stores to go to. So let's get going. Time for a little bit of an update. It is 1030 and I'm now sitting outside ready to go into Kohl's. I am fueled up and ready to go. So in the last two hours, I've gotten a lot done. Start off at Bartels, got uh, some, what do you call it? Suntan lotion stuff returned, so that was good. And I had to swing into Ace real quick, which was next door to return a sprinkler part. Then, um, Let's see, I stopped at UPS, got out two boxes today. That was about 100 products going to Amazon. Yesterday I got out several other hundred. Um, my car actually couldn't fit all the boxes. So anyhow, swung by, did that. Went to Rite Aid, did a return there. Storage unit, got two eBay orders, which one is a Blankets and Beyond blanket that sold, and the other is a San Francisco 49er jersey that sold this morning. Then I swung into Fred Meyer again to pick up some things personally. And, uh, oh, I had to go to the dollar store. That was a big, big to do. We needed uh, 480 silly strings for Friday's walkathon. So procuring almost 500 silly strings is a little tough. I had to go to three different dollar stores, but that's okay. I got some stuff for work too that uh, go into my bundles. So I've been doing bundles from dollar store stuff. It's not. I don't think anybody should really pursue that as like a main source of income, but it does bring in a little bit of money and it's replenishable. So I was there already, gonna have to go ahead and grab that. Then I stopped at this lovely little bakery and had a breakfast slash lunch because I was starving and I'm not going to go into Kohl's with the intent of spending several hours in here on an empty stomach. So I went, where the heck did I go? The corner bakery and it was delicious. One of the perks of this job 
trying out new places and finding good food to eat. Now, I don't eat out a whole lot. In fact, usually I like to pack a lunch to save money, etc. But it's one of those things that you need to balance. Uh, you need balance in all of your life. Balance in shopping, balance in shipping, balance with capital, balance with everything. Oh my gosh. So for me, I eat out about once a week. And the rest of the time I will pack or eat at home. And that kind of gives me the, the balance that I need. If I ate out every day, that'd be too expensive. If I never ate out, then I'd feel a little bit deprived. And honestly, sometimes I forget to make a lunch or, you know, things happen. So I don't want to beat myself up too much about that. So about once a week, I'll go out and I'll have something reasonable. I think my bill was $12, so not anything super high end. And uh, that was a nice little treat. It was delicious. I had this egg bowl with avocado and bacon and spinach and tomatoes. It was very delish. Anyhow, getting ready to go into Kohl's here. I've got my purse. I don't think I'll bring out my scanner because they don't like resellers here. And so if you wear your scanner and sometimes you can hide it in a jacket or something if you have a little push button scanner. Um, but I've got my cash lined up, my coupons lined up, my apps lined up. And I went on to, what is it, Ebates or one of those where you can get, no, Raise, the gift cards and you can get about 5% off of gift cards. So I might do that too. So we'll see what my tally is and I'll give you a summary. I don't know if I'll film in the school, uh, in the school, in the store. Uh, it just depends on if it's crowded or people are walking around. Sometimes I have the intent to film and show you guys in there and there's like 12 people standing around. I already had people looking at me in my car because I'm parked and there was somebody that got out ahead of me and they were giving me a weird eyeball because it looks like I'm filming out the front. But I'm not, I'm not filming other people. I wouldn't do that. All right, let's get going. All right, guys, this is what my trunk looks like. I have 480 goofy strings in here for the school, and then I spent 257 at Kohl's, came back out, uh, loaded up, got some drinks and stuff, went back in, got about $100 of clothes for myself because I needed some things, and I'm going to ASD, and I just didn't have anything really nice to wear, so I got a couple items there, and I found four Gloria Vanderbilt pants that I can sell online to add to that. So that was $2.57 plus another, I think it was $12, $15 for the pants there on my other transaction. I did wind up on the first one, I used $100 in Kohl's cash. I saved about $90 with my 30% off coupon and I did receive some cash for next trip. And then I also received some cash for next trip from my purchase. So let's see here, I don't know if I can, I got like bras, 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 bras. Mostly, whatchamacallit, Playtex, Warners, um, Lily of, Lillian of France, I wanna say. Uh, and what's the other one? Like, I don't think I got any jockey. I scanned some jockey. A lot of the bras were marked down 70, 80, 90%. The ones that were in the 50, 60 range weren't really having the margins for me. So I, I then, after I, you know, I'll go into a section, I'll scan a whole bunch and, uh, you know, kind of get a feel for what's going on and then go ahead and go through and, and try to get, get the good stuff. So see how that one's like $8. So that was good. I do have to watch out. Some of these I might be able to clean up. Some I will put over a black barcode. And if I can't make that look nice, then I will have to return it or something. Anyhow, I've got 480 goofy strings in here for the school. Over here, this descendant guy, I don't know what's going on with him. He was, yeah, it's a him. It was $7.99. They're going for $47 to $52 right now with a great rank. Uh, I don't know why. I have not watched Descendants. My daughter wants to. I need to find that. Um, maybe I'll hit a thrift store up and get her that. But I don't know what's so special about them. Now, because the box is really beat up, I am going to list it as like new, not brand new. Because it's, oh, hold on. Let's see here. I got low battery. I've gotten into low battery. Anyhow, so I went ahead and added everything to my buy list. So when I go home, I can just import it to inventory lab and move on my day. And he is going to be a good little find. What else did I get? I got some other toys. Okay, more bras. This is a maiden form sport. That was probably the most expensive one I got, $17. And then I got some Mickey Mouses. I wound up getting 10 Mickey Mouses the Mickey Mouses are $2.50 plus my discount. They're going for about $10. I'll make about $2.40 a piece off of them. They had about another 50 or 60 on the shelf, but I don't know if they're really gonna do well. So I didn't wanna go in too deep. 
Then I got, gosh, I tied everything up. Now I'm untying it for you. Whole bunch of pa pants. These are all Hagger pants and they were marked down. Look at this, look at this. $5.50. That is crazy. They're originally $55. They were down to 11. They're now 550. They were going for 25 to $35 online. So these will be very, very nice. Anyhow, 260 on the first go round, another $15. So I spent about $270 at Kohl's. It is two, no, 3.30 in the afternoon and I'm done with Kohl's. I'm done. I need to go and do something else. I don't know if I'm going to go straight home or maybe I'll stop and uh, I don't know if I'm going to stop. <laughs> we'll see. But that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, hold on. Let's finish this up in the car. It's raining and there's cars out there driving around. But uh, boy, I had some really good luck just pretty much in the bra section and the men's pants section and then terrible luck everywhere else. I did not even really hit up the men's socks area. Uh, there was just a little tiny end cap of that and I had already scanned most of the stuff on there. Let's see here. The home section. Oh, I had gotten these Columbia sheets, the ones that are temperature regulation or cooling. Thought I was going to get my 30% off. So at $20 instead of 30, they would have been good margins. But if I pay 30, I'm only getting back like 10 um, in profits and they're kind of big and bulky and they're sheets and I just wasn't uh, wasn't going to pull the trigger with margins that low. So I wound up putting about six sets of sheets back. Kind of bummed about that. She rang it up and I'm like, oh, it doesn't, you know, how come the 30% off didn't work? And she says the 30% off does not work for the major brands. Major brands being uh, Under Armour, Nike, Adidas, Columbia, and there was a couple others. So I'm going to have to go look that up and put that knowledge into my head because that's huge if I'm not getting 30% off. Six sheet sets times $30 a piece versus times $20 a piece is a pretty good, you know, that's $60 difference, so. Um, what else? Did not have any luck in the baby section. Did not have any luck in the workout section, which is weird, usually I do. Um, and then men's shirts, I didn't have any luck either. In fact, from the last time I came here, probably about a month ago, there wasn't a huge amount of difference. There was a pretty big difference in the bra section and in the men's pants section and everything else kind of looked like I had, I had, when I had scanned it about a month ago. So I was, it was pretty quick to go through those areas, but I did spend a significant chunk of time in the women's bras and underwears. I did get some, um, like under shape wear, um, for women in dresses and stuff like that. So that was it. I hope you all are having a great day. Hope you enjoyed this little bit of a haul video or ride along, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, it's, oh, it's not quite 3.30. It's 3.22. I'm going to head out. I've got things to do and dinners to cook and now lots of clothes to bag up. So take care. Have a great day.